When you use hydrophilic foams, you typically use a technique called crack injection or the VPAT method. The contractor will typically drill a hole, flush that hole with water to remove debris, wet the hole, and then insert the injector. It expands as you put it in. It's got a little grease fitting on the end, a little zerk. And I can connect to that zerk with an injection gun, looks like this, and start pumping. That's it. Let's say you've got a, a vertical crack, and that crack goes, uh, let's say it's a four foot crack. We drill a hole on the bottom right, put an injector in. We're gonna drill a hole at a 45 degree angle and try to intercept that crack halfway through the structure. Because we don't know behind the face, does the crack veer off to the right or to the left? So we're gonna put an injector down here, go up a foot, put an injector here, go up a foot, put an injector here. So we're going in at 45 degrees on both sides of the crack. We start injecting at the bottom because the material moves up as it expands. And once you're pumping here, you'll see grout come out in pores of the concrete where you didn't even know the, the, that network of cracks went. And once it gets about to the level of your next hole or next injector, then you start pumping there and work your way up. That's the VPAT or crack injection method. We have different injectors. This one has a grease fitting. This one has a, a button head. I like the button head because as it slides down over, as the coupler slides down, it locks against it and can't pull off like these sometimes do, although these are the most popular ones. We have a metal button head, looks like this. We have a 5 eighths, these are all 5 eighths inch. All right, these are made for high pressure injection, the metal ones with rubber. As you tighten it, the rubber expands. This is a half inch high pressure injection. And then lastly, this is a 3 8 inch, just to bang in. It doesn't tighten as you expand it. You just gotta keep your body weight on it. These are the cheapest uh, throwaways. A little grease fitting on the end. As I mentioned, most people use the grease fittings. When, oftentimes when using the 202, you see here, I like to pass this around and say, try to pull the stick out of there. It just got a great grip on it. Won't release that stick. It's a very durable foam. They'll use either the crack injection method. You can also use the EGP, expanded gasket placement. You're creating a new gasket in a crack or a joint or even the annular space outside of a pipe. And contractors will take something like our resin rod. It's an open cell foam. They take the foam, dunk it in the resin, squeeze the air out and it soaks up the resin like a sponge. And then stuff it wherever you need it, as long as where you need it is wet. Some contractors will, once they take it out of the resin, they'll just dunk it briefly for half a second in water, then stuff it where they need it. Or after they take it out of the resin, they'll stuff it in the crack, spray it with a water bottle. That's resin rod. You can also use oakum. Oakum's been around for a long time. It's a, it's a plant fiber, it's jute. Ours is dry and oil free. Others out there are not. Because you want it to soak up the resin. Let's say you're working in a joint overhead. If you put pure resin in there, it's gonna drip out on your head. So if you do the EGP technique, dunk it, soaks it up, stuff it up in there, all this material does is holds the resin in place long enough to react to the water and create a very firm, dense gasket. Contractors who really like belt and suspenders, once they create that gasket, you can puncture through it with a needle. We have uh, stainless steel needles, pump pure resin behind it to ensure uh, a very dense gasket or drill holes through the concrete at an angle and pump pure resin, okay? If you have any questions about that, let us know. Okay, that concludes this portion of our training. Please feel free to call with any questions. As you can see, we are fully stocked and ready to serve you. Thanks very much.